Something that Miss Anna's wanted me to do is to build a proper bird table. We've just got this cheap uh, metal upright there to help feed our birds. So we've got some we've got some off cuts of some timber. So let's see what we can we can make. It's going to be a hexagonal base here. I'll just do this in just a 2D projection. And on top of that, we'll have a hexagonal feeder. So that will be something like this as it goes into the distance. And to access that all round, we're going to do some openings like this. And then that's going to be on just a post. There's a post coming down. And then we'll build a nice, sturdy, wide set of feet. There'll be some sacrificial pads of timber on each corner. We can take them off as they rot. And then maybe a couple of struts just to support that base. And then the same on here. Something like that. And then on the roof, this will probably be the most complicated bit to do. We'll do something like that, maybe with a little cap of some sort on top, and then plenty of hooks underneath. Put a bit of trim around the outside, somewhere for them to land. And then of course we can hang hang the seed feeders down from that. I've just done this trial here to show you that if we want to make a hexagon shape, we know that the total degrees for a for a hexagon will be 360 because it it's a circle effectively. So in order to get six sides out of 360, you simply divide by the six and that gives you 60 degrees total for each of the joints. Now, when we're bringing two pieces of timber together, we need to halve that. So that's a 30 degree joint, that's a 30 degree joint, making that 60 degrees. So what we do is we go down here, and we're very lucky that we've got, I don't know if you can see this here, we've got a gauge where we can adjust the angle of the saw blade. So we simply loosen that off and bring that round to 30 degrees, which is just here. Where are we? Just here. Clamp that off there. And then when we look up onto our saw blade, let me just raise that for you. When we look up onto our saw blade, we've got a 30 degree, we've got a 30 degree angle there. So when we cut our timber, it will give us that 30 degree cut just there. Can you see? So let's cut those lengths. Well, it doesn't look much at the moment, but it's in its rawest form. So all I've done now is just um, gone round and all the, all the nail heads um, and the blemishes I've just filled with a mixture of wood glue and sawdust.
So I've got this old fibre board from a shop fit in Portsmouth that was changing bench was the name of the company and uh, I knew it would come in handy so what I've done is as you can see I've just chopped it up into what I hope to be lots of roof tiles 